Welcome back to another video. Today, we will obtain Tusk Act 4 in Stand Upright Rebooted. I've been grinding a lot lately, and got a legendary Tusk Act 1. I thought it would be interesting to see how long it will take us to obtain Tusk Act 4 on a new account. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. I will only use my legendary Tusk to progress through the game, and obtain Tusk Act 4. So let's get started. We will start with leveling up, since all of the Saints Corpse parts have a level requirement of 45. We also need to be level 90 to enter the inner sanctum, so we can speak to the homeless man for the Saints Skull. I will be farming Jotero part 4 and Kakioin. These two bosses give more EXP than the level 1 to 10 quests. Our legendary Tusk also makes killing bosses easy for us, so it's faster to level up by killing these two bosses right now. I will be back once I reach level 15. We reached level 15. I used most of the stat points on upgrading my EXP gain. This will speed up our leveling process, so we will max our EXP gain before investing our stat points into other perks. We are now going to level up by completing quests. We will start with the level 15 quest and progressively make our way to the level 75 quest. The level 15 quest consists of you killing dummies instead of mobs, which I guess is better, since most mobs are brain dead and act like dummies anyway. This quest is also very easy to complete. You can stand in the middle of the two wrecker dummies, and kill them both simultaneously, saving you some time. Sadly this does not work with Tusk's skills. Only the punches can hit both dummies at once, so I guess I will be clicking a lot for this quest. Johnny Joster spawned 20 minutes later, so I decided to take a quick pause on leveling and kill him. Johnny Joster has a chance to drop the Saint's Limb or Torso upon death. I hope he drops the Saint's Limb first as the Saint's Torso can also be obtained through dungeons, while the Saint's Limb can only be obtained through killing Johnny Joster. Killing Johnny Joster with Tusk Act 1 would have been impossible, if it weren't for its legendary attribute. The long cooldowns and low damage on a normal Tusk Act 1 won't be able to kill Johnny Joster before he despawns. So your best bet on doing this would be with the demon or legendary Tusk Act 1. We will be trapping Johnny Joster by standing behind a tree, to prevent him from attacking us while we wait for our skills cooldown. This is exactly what I mean by the mobs are brain dead. Unfortunately, Johnny Joster did not drop anything, but it took us only one minute to kill him, which was faster than I expected. I thought it would at least take three minutes because of the skill's long cooldowns. I guess this is the power of a legendary stand. I will continue to level up, and wait for Johnny to spawn again. I reached level 25 after farming for another 10 minutes. The process of reaching level 25 was slower than I imagined. It took us 30 minutes to reach level 25, while we spent only 10 minutes reaching level 15. I hope this will be faster after I fully upgrade my EXP gain. We will farm Joseph Joster's quest until level 30. It's pretty funny to see Dio over heaven being the boss of a level 25 quest. The developers honestly did Dio dirty by making him the easiest boss in the game. Like seriously, out of all the bosses in Jojo, they chose Dio over heaven to be the first boss players should fight. What kind of choice decision is this? I maxed out my EXP gain after a few minutes. We should see a significant increase in EXP from quests as we continue to progress. I also bought Hammond to do some extra damage. I know I said I would only use Tusk for the entire video. But if you think about it, Hammon is just breathing and punching, which is what I was doing just now. Let's just say that I mastered the way of breathing and punching, and it is totally allowed to use Hammon. I reached level 30 around 5 minutes later. It was fast since I only needed 5 more levels. We will be doing Okuyasu's quest until level 40, and as you can see, even Kiriyoshi Kage is stronger than Dio over heaven, which does not make any sense. But hey, it's a game, so it doesn't have to be canon. I reached level 40 after 5 minutes. I stood next to Okuyasu and shot Kira for the entire time. 
This is one of the reasons why I like stands with long range skills. They save you so much time walking up and down. We are going to complete Josuke's quest until level 50. The leveling process is going so much faster now. I expect that we will reach level 90 in the next hour. Johnny spawned and dropped nothing again. So I went back to leveling up. Nope. I reached level 50 after 10 minutes. I went afk for 30 minutes before this. But I still made sure to kill Johnny when he spawned. And as you can already tell, Bruh. I got nothing. We are now going to farm Rohan's quest until level 65. We are halfway to reaching level 90, and we still haven't evolved Tusk Act 1 to Act 2 yet, which is very concerning. I hope Johnny Joster will drop the Saint Slim before I reach level 90. Johnny Joster spawned 10 minutes later, and dropped nothing again. I've killed Johnny 4 times already, and still haven't gotten a single drop. At this point, I'm thinking of server hopping and killing Johnny for the Saint Slim before I continue leveling up. I didn't do that, because there is too much competition in a public server, and my Tusk Act 1 wouldn't stand a chance against time stop and autopilot stands. I reached level 65 after 5 minutes. We are now just 25 levels away from reaching level 90. We will be doing Dio's quest until level 75. This is the second last quest we need to do, before we reach level 90. I reached level 75 after 10 minutes, this quest was quite annoying, since I had to run back and forth between Jotaro and Dio to complete the quest. We will be doing Avdal's quest until level 90, meaning that this will be the last and final quest we need to do. Johnny Joster spawned again for the fifth time. Unfortunately, he didn't drop anything again. Obtaining the Saint Slim might actually take longer than the other two corpse parts. I finally reached level 90 after 10 more minutes of farming. Hammond was pretty helpful for the last few bosses. I'm not sure if Hammond scales with your stand stats, but the barrage skill did enough damage to one shot Kakioin, which is pretty insane. I decided to obtain the Saint Slim and evolve Tusk Act 1 to Tusk Act 2 before obtaining the other Saints corpse parts, since it isn't fun to do everything with Tusk Act 1. I'm sure the video will get boring if I continue using the same stand to farm. But before we continue the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying the video. It helps me out a lot, so it would be fantastic if you could do that. Now let's get back to the video. I finally got the Saint Slim after killing Johnny two more times. Obtaining the Saint Slim usually takes me only one or two tries, but I guess I'm just glad that it didn't take me an entire day to get this. Now we can use the Saint Slim on Tusk Act 1 to evolve it into Tusk Act 2. We will obtain the Saint's Torso by clearing the level 80 dungeon. The Saint's Torso is the rarest drop, so it might take us a while to get it. The dungeon itself isn't that hard to clear, since we have a legendary stand. We are basically able to one-shot anybody in this dungeon. I can also use Nail Glide to skip straight to the boss and clear the dungeon quickly, so clearing this dungeon will only take around a minute. I hope it won't take me another 3 hours to get the Saint's Torso. Wow, we got the Saint's Torso way quicker than I expected. I'm not sure about the Saint's Torso's drop chance, but we must be pretty lucky to get it this quick. It looks like we can move on to evolving Tusk Act 3 to Tusk Act 4. To evolve Tusk Act 3 to Tusk Act 4, we need the Saint's Skull, which we can buy from the homeless man. But he needs me to kill 100 players first before selling it to me. I thought of just killing my other account 100 times, because killing players with Tusk isn't as easy as you think it is. The hitboxes on the skills are so small that it's nearly impossible to hit a running player unless they are running towards you. It's a lot more different than hitting a brain dead mob, but I thought I'd try it, since most of you guys want to watch me suffer anyways. I think I might be over exaggerating Tusk's skills. 
maybe I have skill issue, but whatever the case is, let's get that 100 kills. You were wrong. If you expected me to make some crazy kill montage and blow your mind. Sadly, I'm not the guy who can do something like that. Most of the kills I got were from killing players who did not see a 500 damage nail coming right at them. Of course, some of the nails missed, so they started running away from me, but they still died after I spammed enough nails at them. There were also strong players with demon or legendary stands who hunted me down repeatedly. I didn't even stand a chance against them, because they used an autopilot or time stop stand. I honestly deserve this for killing players minding their own business. Even though this is a fighting game and PvP is allowed, it doesn't feel good to kill random players who are weaker than me. I will be skipping most of the kills because most of the victims were one-shotted by a nail. I only need 9 more kills after 40 minutes. I also got better at aiming my nails. There was also an exploiter in this server. Bruh. Look at this dude. I got all the kills a few minutes later. This guy kept trying to kill me over and over again, but his stand was too weak to withstand a hit from me. We can finally buy the saint skull from the homeless man, and evolve Tusk Act 3 to Tusk Act 4. The saint skull costs $500,000 each, which we already have after farming for so long. The damage output on a legendary Tusk Act 4 is absolutely insane. The barrage does 160 damage per punch, and some skills do over 1000 damage. The best skill is the Tusk Beatdown which does over 5000 damage. It is possible to one shot Heaven Ascended Jotero with Tusk Beatdown and Hammer, which means that not many people will be able to survive the beatdown, even if they have a legendary stand. Leveling up with a legendary Tusk Act 1 felt faster than using a standard stand. However, I don't think it will beat autopilot stands in farming, because they can use most of their skills without getting hurt. I recommend using Heroof and Green for farming, if you just started playing the game. I will be giving away a Demon Tusk Act 1 in my Discord server. Link in descriptions. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be giving away this legendary Tusk Act 4, but if this video somehow gets 10,000 likes, then maybe I will give it away. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel, so you won't miss out on any of my uploads. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.